How are we going everyone? Just standing here in front of the black locust tree that we've got. Uh, about a year ago or so we had a borer in here, got stuck into it, made a mess of the tree. And Kara's here to say hello. Hello sweetheart, you well? Hey, Good girl. Now, what I, what I did here in the past, I had to cut it all out because it was just killing everything inside. Um, it was rotting out. So this wasn't me, this was the borer eating through the wood in the middle, turning it into sawdust and made a big mess of it. Now we've managed to stop it. It hasn't progressed any further. There's no signs of dust or sawdust or frass um, being produced anywhere. Normally you find it in the cracks and crevices around here or in areas where it's not in, in the direct sort of harsh weather that we have. So normally on the, on the blind side of the tree, there's nothing here. Now, I've also had a lot of emails come through people having similar problems and it's not so much the borer, but rotting on the stem. So you can have uh, stem rot, you can have collar rot happening. And in particular now with the cold weather and the moisture in the air and the ground that we have, have a look at the grass here. Look how boggy this is, it's all wet. It's been cut and it's just almost flattened because it's so heavy uh, on the foot there. So the blades aren't really cutting it, but rather they're just flattening it out. Now that moisture transfers over to the trunk. Now if you've got too much grass or mulch around the base of your trees, uh, chances are you may get a bit of collar rot and that's rotting of the stem or the bark on the outside. When that happens all the way around, you technically have ring barked the tree or the plant and there's no sap flow anymore. Basically you're killing the plant off. Um, and in other cases, you've got a small entry point where the borer's gotten into it and started to sort of uh, uh, excavate inside or just burrow through inside. Um, and, and then you, you don't notice it until it's almost too late. Like in the case of this one here, we almost lost it. So I had to cut all this out to expose it and clean it all out. Otherwise that would be rotting through and there'd be no way that I can stop that. Otherwise I'd have to cut the tree down. So I've cleaned that out and I also painted it with our whitewash, which is hydrated lime mixed with water. There's remnants here left over. This is over a year ago. That there creates a shield of armour on the plant. If you've got rotting on your tree and the initial damage could have been caused by disease or an insect, but left untreated, it can spread quite quickly and then it becomes a secondary problem, which means you're not going to treat it with a spray to control a pest or a fungicide anymore. You need to actually excavate it out, cut it all out. And that's what I've done here and that's what you'll need to do with yours. But then you need to make your hydrated lime. Now I'm going to do this on the fast, but normally when you mix your hydrated lime and water, uh, you basically need to let it sit for a couple of hours so that it can infuse properly because you'll get the water diluting the, high, the hydrated lime. But sometimes if you apply it too quickly, it hasn't infused. And what happens then is the first signs of rainfall washes it all off. So I'm just going to mix this through, turn it into a paint like texture, too much water as usual. And I'm using a brush rather than, and this is what happens folks, you know, ad hoc. You can sit here and measure it. I've got enough lime here, I think. Here we are. So now that will be nice and creamy. Getting there. If you let it sit for a while, it actually thickens up even more. So just a little bit more hydrated lime. Now, once you've done that, let it sit for a couple of hours, ideally overnight with a lid over the top. And that way you've got a nice infusion happening. It's complete and then go around and paint your trunk or your plants, whatever you have to paint. That's a sealer, it stops insects traveling up and down, stops um, fungus uh, spreading any further. It's an, almost like an antiseptic and it works a treat on all plants and it's really, really cheap folks, really cheap to buy. But if you don't wanna go with this, this is an old brush too, by the way. It's, just, it's like a bristle, hard bristle. If you don't wanna go and use the hydrated lime like I am here, then you can use a product called Tree Stack, which is another natural uh, based product. It's more of a plastic finish or a rubbery finish on it, and that's used to seal wounds as well. I've grown up with the hydrated lime and I'm used to grease being painted white in all the European homes around that you see in, in town, in the suburbs with their trees. If you see the trunks all painted white, well, you know exactly why now. And this is just to seal the wound and help the tree heal. When you've done an excavation like this, I've left it like this for too long, the tree's pretty stable still, I need to fill this in. Now you can fill it in with plaster of Paris, you can use mortar, paint it over first like this, and then backfill it with a bit of mortar if you like, or uh, wood putty, whatever you find easy enough to use, that will dry hard in there, 
and give it some stability. So, but for most, most importantly, is to paint it over like that. So if you need to paint your tree, get some hydrated loam from our website, VasilisGarden.com. Mix it with water and start applying. If you're watching this as we've just uploaded it, folks, tune over to 693 AM Dial Radio. That is me and Darren James doing weekend gardening. And because it's 3AW Weekend Radio, folks, we've got our 30% off three-day sale. Use the coupon code 30 off to receive your discount and watch the prices get smashed right down. Now, don't forget, on the 24th of July, we've got Craig Cashry demonstrating grafting workshop, that is, on all things grafting, fruit trees, citrus trees, and budding as well. So if you want to learn more about that, book it in your diary, book your seat at 10.30 or 1 p.m. It's on our website. It's going to be held at Coburg uh, at our store there. Two sessions on the day. Book your seat before you miss out. VasilisGarden.com. Everything's discounted every day from Eva Silly, Maresi.